Here's your breakdown of what to watch this weekend. If you love action and suspense, Greenland starring Gerard Butler and Morena Baccarin is now available on demand. NASA is saying it appeared out of nowhere from like a different solar system. This is a fragment entering the lower atmosphere. Three, two, one, an impact. The disaster film follows a family fighting for survival as a deadly comet races toward Earth. Butler told The Hollywood Reporter what drew him to the project. I had just before said, I, I still love the idea of doing a big action kind of disaster feel movie, but maybe with more of an element of Tom Hanks in my character as opposed to Mike Banning or Leonidas. And then this came along, which seemed to answer on all, all fronts. You know, one, it had the, the, the spectacle and the big scope and the idea, but looked at it completely through the lens of a family. Space agencies are expecting an extinction level event. The greatest chance of survival are the bunkers in Greenland. Baccarin revealed what message she hopes viewers take away from the film. Well, I hope that people, after the desperation and the thrill and the breathlessness of watching the film, um, I, I think that there is a really wonderful message of survival and togetherness and humanity and hope and rebuilding and family, you know, um, that I think people can take with them. And right now we need that message of hope desperately. Over on Netflix, the film Ma Rainey's Black Bottom, starring Viola Davis and the late Chadwick Boseman in his final on-screen role, is now streaming. You go over there playing music. I know what I'm doing. Go on and fire me, I don't care. When I got there, they began to say. That's to get the people's attention. On the TV side, THR's chief TV critic Daniel Feinberg has his top pick of what you should check out. With the holidays approaching, it's a slow week of new TV programming, especially since CBS All Access's adaptation of The Stand is a convoluted misfire. That means it might be the perfect time to binge HBO Max's The Flight Attendant, which premiered last month to positive reviews, though many critics mention that with mysteries like this, it's all about sticking the landing. Well, the finale is out, and it's a solid conclusion to the series' various twists and turns, and sets up potentially interesting threads for future adventures. How many drinks have you had today? I'm a crazy drunk flight attendant, not a killer. What did you get me involved with? The show's success can be credited to the clever writing, to Blake Neely's jaunty score, and to an ensemble including Zasha Mamet and Rosie Perez. But most kudos to Kaylee Cuoco's performance, which is equally adroit with comedy and with the series' darker threads. Don't fear disappointment here. Until the next What to Watch, I'm Tiffany Taylor for The Hollywood Reporter News.